Writing Podcast. We're here to pump up your writing. And now your host, Andy Brixey, personal trainer at The Writing Gym. Hey there, writers and muse daters. Welcome to this very special highlight episode where Annalisa and I will talk about what agents look for in a novel. Enjoy and make sure to check out the full episode on Thursday. Happy writing. So Annalisa, you talk a lot with different literary agents with your work in the writing gym uh, and as a writing coach. Can you kind of share with us their, their biggest issues and complaints that they have with manuscripts coming in? Sure, that's a really great question, Andy, because, you know, as you know, I am flying around the world. Uh, I'm in New York at least four times a year, in London at least twice a year, meeting with the major publishers and literary agents and editors and talking to them about what they're seeing, uh, not only trending in the marketplace, but what they're seeing trending from the author side and what they see. And, uh, you know, agents are people, first of all, and they enter their profession because they love stories, they love words, they love language, right? They're just sort of like English major geeks, and that's why they are where they are. Uh, you know, that said, there's a lot of frustration that they have, and one of the things that I hear most frequently is that authors are submitting manuscripts that are first first drafts but not final first drafts. So uh, maybe the author didn't even read through it or didn't know how to read through it, Uh, but it certainly reads like something that is unformed, not fully formed. Uh, And, you know, write this down, those of you who are listening, because this is a really huge hint. The thing that's lacking, uh, that they're complaining to me the most, is, is the craft, is the art of storytelling, the art of pacing, how to weave together a story. So some of them might have a really nice concept or they've got a really strong voice, but the storytelling aspect isn't there. And if the storytelling aspect isn't there, then the piece just isn't going to fly. And, you know, these are experts, remember, uh, in the storytelling aspect of a novel. So you can't really fool them uh, into not not having that story. They're going to know. If you like what you've heard and are interested to see if you're the right fit for the writing gym, here's what to do next. Head to www.datewithanews.com slash publish now and book an appointment to speak with our team. Here's how it works. We'll get on the phone for about 45 minutes and we'll get crystal clear on three things. The best way for you to publish, the best way for you to take two. If you like what you've heard and are interested to see if you're the right fit for the writing gym, here's what to do next. Head to www.datewiththenews.com slash publish now and book an appointment to speak with our team. Here's how it works. We'll get on the phone for about 45 minutes and we'll get crystal clear on three things. The best way for you to publish, the best way to achieve your publishing dream, and the exact strategy you should be using to reach your publishing goals. Remember, publishing a book well doesn't happen on its own. You need expert guidance to make it happen. We've helped writers all over the world to finish, publish, and sell their novels well, all while sharing their unique story and making the world a better place along the way. To see if we can help you to do the same, head to www.datewiththenews.com slash publish now. I'm Andy Brixey, personal trainer over in the writing gym, and we'll talk soon. And hey, since you listened all the way to the end of this episode, here's this week's little quirk of the week. Kind of like a blooper reel, but not. I don't want to be a rat, but Annalisa has some amazing dance moves. In fact, she was part of a dance-off at my wedding. Thank you for listening to the Writing Gym Podcast. Happy writing.